Hi, my name is Asia and I am an instruction librarian at Oregon Tech. I want to welcome you to this short video on the basics of finding and evaluating sources in EBSCO databases. We'll begin at the library homepage, www.oit.edu forward slash library. From here, click on the electronic resources link. This will open a page that lists all of the library's electronic resources in alphabetical order. While this is helpful if you know what you're looking for, since we're just starting out, I'm going to click on the plus sign next to subjects that will expand a list of different subjects to help guide our research. From this list, I will select general interest, which is a good starting place for the research on a variety of topics. The link will direct me to a subject guide page that includes top resources and research tips. Today, I will begin my search in Academic Search Complete, which is listed in the top resources section at the top of the page. When I click on the link, I will be prompted to sign in, which I can do using my Oregon Tech username and password, the same ones I would use to log into my OIT. Once logged in, I can see a search box where I can begin my research. One thing to note is that this resource does not allow for full sentence or natural language searching, so I need to make sure that I limit my search terms to just the keywords on my subject. For example, if I were looking for information on the impact of cochlear implants, I might start with a broad search for cochlear implant. I would then look at my results to see whether I might need to narrow them by adding terms to my search. For example, identity. Once I have located a useful seeming resource, I can click on the title to locate additional information. One advantage of searching in library databases is that they make a lot of information you might use to evaluate the article easily accessible. For example, I can see that this is a journal article. I can find the name of the journal as well as of the authors. I can view the author's affiliations to better understand their backgrounds and perspectives. And I can locate the date of publication. Rather than having to seek out all this information on my own, the database does a lot of the work for me. Finally, if this is an article I would like to share with others, I can download the full text, copy a citation, or save a permanent link to this article. I hope this helps to get you started with your research, but don't hesitate to contact the library if you have any questions.